why I've got my old iOmega CD-ROM and I've got my hard drive converter USB it does two and a half inch three and a half inch IDE and SATA drives I've had this one several years and it's worked great and we've got it plugged up to the solid state drive right there so let's uh, do another control alt delete let's see if we can hit a boot screen we get F9 and our iOmega shows up and actually we probably could boot off the uh, solid state but we're going to boot off the iOmega Starting a Cronus, full version. And so we'll go over here, we'll do backup. Actually, we'll go to clone disk. Next, and I like to go manual. Okay, so we're going to select the source drive, which is the 16 gig. Actually, it shows up as 15. Next, the destination drive, the new drive, which is our 320, but it shows up as 298. We will go ahead and keep the data that's on the solid state. And we will select proportional because it'll expand the um, partition from the 15 gig partition that it is, and it'll fill up the 320. And it's just showing before cloning we've got a 15 gig after it'll be a 298 gigabyte partition go proceed and it just shows you it's going from the 15 gig to the 298 gig and this may take it a few minutes so I'll stop recording and then we will continue after it finishes this drive was about full I think it had 12 gig used, so it'll take a few minutes going across the USB. So before I could even get the camera recording, um, it finished, so I clicked OK, and it, of course it started to reboot, and it's back up. So let's um, take a look at the drive. I've still got solid state plugged up. And the CD drive. So we've got our local disk C. We go to properties. We are using 11.1 .1 gigabytes and we have 286 free. So, cancel that. And then here's the old solid state. As you can see, it was just about full. close out all that we can disconnect the solid state okay. 
All right. It's all done.